Hi, this is Nikki Belza, and I am counting down the final hours until my surgery. I have about three hours left, so I'm really nervous, but I'm really looking forward to uh, closing the chapter, the sepsis chapter in my life. Um, as you can see, I'm going to look at my cheat sheet because one of the symptoms of post-sepsis syndrome is loss of memory, which I have very, very bad, unfortunately. But I did want to go over some things. Uh, my main message to all of you guys and viewers and whoever watches this, because I don't know where it's going to go, is that um, you have to listen to your body and your health. You know, when you're in pain, if something hurts, listen. Because if you don't, you can end up the way I did. Unfortunately, I didn't have any symptoms when I did come down with my sepsis infection. Um, I didn't have symptoms until it was too late. So... That's not very common, but that's how it happened to me. And it could happen to you and your mom and your dad, your sister and your brother, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It could happen to anybody at any age, any stage of health. So don't think it can't happen to you because it can. <laughs> but um, sepsis is very common. It can arise from any type of infection, a, a paper cut, any kind of wound even a urinary tract infection or a kidney infection, anything. Um, what I wanted to say was that my infection wasn't from having breast implants. I know some people do think that, you know, it's expected. But one of the main things was that I wanted to share that it wasn't. Um, it was just from a strep infection. Like um, children do get strep throat, adults get strep throat too. Being a cocktail waitress in Las Vegas, um, and just being in Las Vegas in general, I come across you know so many people and um, I have children and people get sick and children get sick. So I had come down with a strep throat infection, but it didn't infect my throat, which is kind of odd to me. It infected my breast implant pocket. So it infected that and it turned into a strep um, sepsis infection. Before I even realized what was going on, I was in ICU and with 104 fever with 44,000 white blood cell counts and it was really really crazy and hopefully my video and everything that I'm doing on the news will help somebody be able to recognize the symptoms of sepsis and it's very similar to the flu so if you think that you do have the flu and it's not going away or if you just feel sick go to the doctor you know pay attention to your body and pay attention to how you feel it's very very important and we want to stop sepsis and save lives. So have a great day. Bye.